The Spanish foreign minister was very warmly introduced by Mr. Landaluce, who praised his attention to detail and capacity for hard work. He praised him as a leader and said he not only defended Spain's sovereignty claim, but also the Campo's economic development. The foreign minister presented Spain's arguments, highlighting what he saw as the benefits of joint sovereignty. The chief minister had been right, he said, when he spoke of an existential threat with Brexit. Nothing, he said, will be the same after Brexit, and reiterated how it presented Spain with the best opportunity on the Gibraltar question it had had in decades. José Manuel García Margallo said he was reading his British counterpart Boris Johnson's book. And still in British literature, and in an attempt to demonstrate that circumstances had changed from the last time joint sovereignty had been proposed, he quoted Lord Keynes. When the facts change, I change my mind. What do you do, sir? And in that vein, he continued to quote Winston Churchill. If the Spanish foreign minister had started with impassioned history, his speech became more threatening as he warned of loss of business opportunities for the rock and troubles ahead. As the frontier by default, he said, and as a result of Britain leaving the EU, would become an external frontier again. Praising Gibraltar's economic model, which he said would be kept in a joint sovereignty scenario, he however then declared himself unhappy with the fiscal arrangements, pointing out Spain had asked the EU to investigate aspects of the ROC's tax regime. Questions came after lunch, but the format was not that of the colloquio promised in the invitation, but guests could only ask written questions. GBC asked how a democratic country could reclaim a territory it had ceded over 300 years ago against the wishes of the people. In his reply, José Margallo said his reputation on democracy was impeccable and that he's never been accused of being Francoist. Insisto, la democracia consiste en respetar la ley y el Estado de Derecho. Y la ley internacional es la que interpretan Naciones Unidas, España la respeta, el Reino Unido no la respeta. Gibraltarians today individually and yet collectively decided not to attend the lunch by the Spanish Foreign Minister. It's not because of who he is, but because of his message. And unfortunately, the hardline answers were the ones met with the most applause. We have done all possible to make Gibraltar not have a national election. And every time he plays, we have done all possible to make it have the most repercussion possible. Democracy may not extend to football with a question followed by PSOE Senator José Caracao asking whether Spain was achieving anything with its harder line. Señor Margallo said he had suspended the tripartite talks, but that it had been his predecessor, Trinidad Jiménez, who had stopped them. He proposed a formula accepted by the UK, he said, ad hoc talks or flexible talks, as he called them. He then went on to talk of the closure of the Instituto Cervantes. Hubo que hacer ahorros en el Cervantes. Y se cerraron dos institutos Cervantes, uno en Damasco, por motivos de seguridad, y el otro Gibraltar. ¿Por qué Gibraltar? Porque nadie abre eh, Instituto Cervantes en lo que considera territorio nacional y España considera que es territorio, Gibraltar es territorio nacional. La segunda razón porque... La segunda razón porque eh, los institutos Cervantes tienen una misión fundamental, que es proyectar, difundir la lengua y la cultura en español. Y es obvio que en Gibraltar las posibilidades de hablar español eh, son, son inmensas. Esas son las razones por las que yo hice eso y lo volvería a hacer. The fact that the chief minister had declined the invitation to attend was pointed out to him, and he was asked with relations between both. Hasta el momento no ha habido relaciones y yo estoy dispuesto a mantenerlas en cualquier momento y en cualquier lugar. Mr. Margallo has said he wants to see the Spanish flag flying over the rock. If today he thought he could sell joint sovereignty to Gibraltar, Gibraltar wasn't there to listen.